Hey everyone, in this quick tech how-to video, I'm gonna show you how to format and create a basic to-do list inside of Google Sheets. To get started, head to google.com and make sure you're logged in. From the menu button here, choose Sheets. Once inside, choose blank under Start a New Spreadsheet. We'll start by creating a title for our to-do list and then formatting it to make it stand out. Next, under the first column, type task, and then next to that, type done. Pull the task column out for more room for when we type. Now we'll freeze our top two rows so that no matter how many rows we have, when we scroll, we'll always have this on top. Go to view in the top menu and then freeze. Choose two rows and that will freeze the top two rows like you see here. Next, choose the cell right under done and insert a checkbox by going to insert and then choosing checkbox. Now this is where we're gonna get into formatting to add a little extra to our to-do list. Make sure the checkbox you just inserted is selected and go to format and then conditional formatting. Delete out the contents of the apply to range and then select the first cell under task and then drag down a bunch of rows that you think you'll use. Hit okay on the selected data range prompt. Next under format cells if, select at the bottom of the menu custom formula is and in the space below type equals B3 equal true. Finally, choose the strike through underneath and to make the format cell differ, choose a medium shade of gray. What this formula says, if the contents of B3 are true, which it is when it's checked, then strike through and shade any cell from the selection that you've made in column A. Hit done when you're finished. You can see now that if I add a task and then check it off, our formatting applies. To finish up, select your checkbox cell and then drag the bottom right corner to copy the boxes to the amount that you chose in your formatting part. This will apply to each row of tasks. And that's how you create a basic to-do list inside of Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more quick tech how-to videos.